basically, I'm going to show you how to use a .replit file because I think that's what you need there. Mm -hmm. You know, the problem is you you need to run a certain command every time before you run this Python file, right? Yeah. So I hope that's going to you know fix the issue. I'm just going to make a .replit file. And then I'm going to do run equals sh um, on sh. Are you familiar with? Uh, yeah. yeah. So this is a, a shell uh, command file. Okay. That's going to like have a bunch of commands in it. Like you know, th these are those are like the commands you can run here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I want to say run sh. So here I'm saying I'm configuring the run button. Mm -hmm. Like when the run button is like, you know, when someone presses it, this is run. And then in here, I can say echo oh, just to make sure it works. Ooh, OK. Yeah. So you can just do Python main.py. Uh, you say you need to run you know, pip before that. So you can just yeah. do pip for the Slack client or pip install Slack client. Yes. OK. And this way, with always on, if the REPL you know, shuts down, if it restarts, it should run this command every time. OK. So now, so I don't have to do anything. So if we, like, based off this, it should, if it's always on and there's a schedule feature, I don't have to go in there and actually run it, right? Right. Yeah, that's that's the hope. Because the only thing that was missing was this pip install Slack client command, right? Yeah. That would yeah. be after a click run. Right. Yeah. Because um, my understanding is with always on, that, like there are certain situations where you know this REPL shuts down and restarts. Mm -hmm. um, before making this file, you used to just run Python main.py. But now we just added this little command. OK, cool.